This is Rachel Kaiser with ThroningShoes.com. I'm here at Summer OR 2014 with Christina and Solomon. What shoe do you have for us? This is the Solomon X Mission 2. And what are some of the key technologies in this shoe? Well, this shoe is really the next generation of our very popular XR Mission. So it has a lot of the same technologies with a couple of key upgrades, you know? So it has the same sense of flex area here, which a lot of people loved because it let their feet spread out. It was great for women with bunions. It's just overall makes the shoe really comfy. It also has the same cute color story where we have a lot of really exciting colors in it. Um, but things that are different are that the heel is going to be a little more shaved down. I don't know if you can see that. It's just going to be a little more um, a little more run friendly where the XR Mission almost became a, a light hiker for a lot of people. For some people, you know, you could do it with both. But this is going to be a little more on the run side of the spectrum. Um, updates. The midsole is going to stay the same. It's molded slightly differently, but it's the same compound. Where it's going to change a lot is in the lug package. And you can see here we have exposed EVA just to make it a little bit lighter. And we went with a high abrasion contra grip and this really cool multi-directional lug that we're putting on most of our city trail shoes now. So it's going to be something that's going to really take you on this urban adventure through the city. It's going to be great for going upstairs, around tight corners, across the park, through gravel, any type of multi-surface, multi-directional run that you might go on. So. And I, you said it sits in the city trail line. What are some of the um, key features that make up the city trail shoes? What does that mean for runners? What it means for runners is that you're going to see a lug package that's a little knocked down compared to some of our hardcore mountain running shoes, which sometimes have some pretty aggressive lugs. If you took those on the road, you would feel slightly cleat-like, perhaps. It's made for mud. Where something like this is going to really be at home on that kind of multi-surface urban territory. And do you think runners could go on trail runs in this shoe, or do you think it's um, made better just for road-specific? I would recommend it for hard pack trail. You know, uh, once it gets muddy, I don't think you'll get the grip that you want. But if it's even wet rocks, you'll probably do pretty all right with. But really, the hard pack trail is where, if you're taking this as a trail shoe, this would shine. Well, thank you so much, Christina. And this has been Rachel with RunningShoes.com.